outbreaks. Uh, however, involved in the outbreak investigation or outbreak management, okay, so it's a nice chance to mm, expose yourself as a public health practice focusing on outbreak investigation. So outbreak management have a two tier, two ways. First, when first it's a, some pick up unusual issues, pick up strange issues. For example, increase of the cases or increase of the isolate of some specific pathogens <coughs> or something like that. So this part, number one, confirmation of unusuals pick up unusuals. It's also big topics, but today I do not move on to, move into this part, but today I move on this field investigation, outbreak investigation. So as I mentioned, we have two ways. Once we pick up unusuals, outbreaks, let's say, so we have two ways. The first one is control measures in a mean, in a while, in a meantime. And the, second, and the second way is investigation. So here, this might be useful, this chart. Because this chart, is because this chart and the knowledge of common sense and knowledge of the textbooks, you have some idea about how to control this communicable disease among human population in the meantime. Are mm. However, control in the meantime is just in the, in the meantime. After field investigation, we have some idea about some direct source of the outbreaks. Let's now, yeah, let's focus on the outbreaks and transmission route. How to transmit pathogens, how to transmit some dirty water or something like that, and risk factors for this outbreak or these diseases. Why, what kind of factors are influencing the outbreaks? And after we identify these source, root factors, etc., etc., then we can move on to the real, um, some sort of real control measures, evidence-based control measures. So here, some sort of isolation. So last, uh, last week, so you asked me, excuse me, so the doctor, right? You asked me, so this chart, yeah, it's a self-explanatory, mm. but this chart is useful for this part in the meantime. After we have outbreak investigation, so we have some idea about, some concrete idea about what is the wrong one, what is a, some transmission route, what is the risk factors. Then based on these evidence, these knowledges, we can move on to the real, <laughs> not, not real, it's a practical, timely, realistic control measures. And then after that, we have, rec we have a recommendation in order to prevent the future same time outbreaks. So that is some sort of key component or bone component of outbreak management or any other public health programs. But today, we are focusing on the outbreaks. It's only some, it makes sense. It's also like, uh, simple and self-explanatory. Uh, 特に分かりやすい、特には変わったことは言ってませんよね。当座の対応と原因究明と日本立て Now back to the English. So, uh, does anybody who, are, who used to work in the hospitals as a doctor or nurse, did you have an experience of outbreaks? Some, for example, MRSA or drug resistance issue or influenza, hashika, amisurus, toka, toku inai desu ka? From, from the doctors or nurses working in the hospital in Japan. Ah, toku ni buchi atara na katta desu ka? Naka, naka ari? Influenza. Ah, so you used to have influenza outbreaks in the winter time, in the epidemic period. 
So at that time, what did you do? どんなことをしました If you identify influenza cases in your world, let's say, so what did you do? I see. I see. He said he, yeah, he identified the cases of influenza and isolating the influenza cases and separate、uh, influenza cases and health cases and, and follow up health situation of the health、uh, patient of the same world. For several days, in order to identify it became a sequel. Not, eh? So, that's a, some sort of control measures in a, in a, in a, in a meantime. And also, it's a.、Mm. But, did you have、uh, some investigation? Or, yeah, influenza in the hospital is t、uh, some sort of simple because your universe is in your world. えっと、自分のウォードだあの病棟だけが宇宙ですもんねあの悪い意味じゃなくて<笑> yeah their universe is their world or a hospital but as a public health practitioners or field epidemiologists our universe our responsible universe is、uh, some communities or healthy group healthy population so we need This outbreak investigation, field investigation using epidemiology or statistics in order to identify the real cause and source, root factor, risk factors, and in the future to prevent the, some same time outbreaks. So, field investigation, we actually,、uh, maybe it's no use for the outbreak.、Uh, Outbreak definition. Have you ever heard the definition of outbreak? But it's just for your、mm, curiosities. Sometimes outbreak is、uh, basically occurrence more cases than you expected. In order to identify outbreaks or in order to identify unusuals, unusuals you have to know the normal baseline level. えー、と異常を知るためには普通の状態を知らなくちゃだめですよね。So, in order to know the baseline level or usual level,、um, it's also a very important issue of the, of, for the public health practitioner, field epidemiologist. Have you ever heard of public health surveillance?、えー、とサーベイランスって聞いたことありますか、um, Yeah, surveillance is a very important weapon for public health practitioners or epidemiologists.、Um, we do not Go into in detail. However,、mm, specifically on the communicable disease in Japan, we have a national surveillance system, and every week, every month, the doctors, the, when the doctor p i c k up the measles cases, let's say measles or influenza cases, they have to report to the public health office in the local area. And every week, such information is gathered and aggregated in the central level. Of National Institute of Infectious Disease. And our field epidemiologists, our public health practitioners, summarized and analyzed the data. And then we can pick up, for example, in Kyoto area, this week we have a huge number of measles cases, or、uh, let's say some unusual death has occurred in the northern part of Tohoku area or whatever. そういうふうなサーベイランスはあるんですけどもちょっと今日はそこまではいきませんね。So, what I want to say today is surveillance is a strong weapon. But, ああ、違う。えっと。But today, we are focusing on this part, not for the surveillance issues. 